Hi, welcome to Polyphonic Press. I'm Jeremy Boyd. I'm John Van Dyke. And today we're going to be talking about a new website that pays critics to review bands' music. Here we go. All right, so there's this uh, new website that is um, a band can go and, and pay uh, a music journalist to review their music as uh, sort of a way to to um, uh, promote their their band and their to their music to basically get yeah. exposure. And uh, it's it's I don't know. I, as I, it, it's a little strange because it, it, it's sort of um, these these reviewers are sort of being paid or being encouraged I guess to give a positive review even if they don't like the 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 band or the music but because they're getting paid they're sort of I don't know they're they're sort of maybe uh feel pressure more to to sort of be a little more lenient than they otherwise would have been um and it it raises a whole bunch of questions about like journalistic integrity and 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 stuff like that and um you know, I, I, I have a hard time. You know, part of me is, is, is uh, understands where these bands are coming from, because you know, you it's really hard to get a, any sort of exposure, uh, especially now because the internet is so saturated with with uh, music, and there's so many people trying to get their names out there that they can get lost in the shuffle. But I don't know. I don't know if, how comfortable I would be. Paying a, a, a critic to re review my music, hoping that they would give a positive review. I mean, can you even imagine if you paid a, a music critic to review your your stuff and they they, they just ripped it apart? Yeah, you know, um, it's 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 really weird. Like, I don't know how this website is set up. Uh, mm -hmm. I I don't it's know called, exactly. It's called Fluence. Um, so. I I I'd never heard of it before today. I guess it's been around for a while, but I I never really I never heard of it uh, until th we came across this article. Yeah, I think it's one of those so. things that was sort of under the radar. Yeah. But uh, uh, um, oh, my train of thought. The um, I, I guess these because these these reviewers are being encouraged to write positive reviews. Yeah. Um, well, I I. Well, they're they're being paid to do reviews. That yeah. much we know. Yeah. That's all we actually know. Yeah. But yeah, like we were saying, like and and it's the bands who are paying the reviewers to do the reviews. Mm -hmm. So, um that is you, you really got to wonder cuz I can't see a band coming along and paying a reviewer for a, a negative review no. as we've just said. So, it yeah, the, you, there there just seem to be you you almost feel obligated to give them a positive review even if you don't like it, yeah. and then you're, it's less of a review and more of a straight up advertisement. Yeah, like they'd be better off spending that money on an advertising campaign of some sort. Yeah, because so. I know I've been I've been contacted by bands to uh, to they want me to review their stuff, and I've I've always refused to do it because I you know maybe they'll they'll link me to the uh, their their uh, band camp page or something like that, and I just simply won't like the the music. And even if I do like the music, I don't want to feel like I'm obligated to to give a positive review. Like we we've, we've said, I've never been offered money, but I've all I've been contacted quite a bit by by different bands wanting them to give my uh, give their stuff a, a review. And like I've always just refused to do it. I just ignore those emails because <laughs> I just it, it's one. I feel like if I'm going to review something, I'm going to go seek something out to review. I don't want the artist to come to me. I feel like that that leaves a bad taste in my mouth with the artist if they are coming to me. It it it, it reeks of desperation on their part, which kind of turns me off a little bit and. And I know, I understand. I understand that it's it's hard to get yourself out there, but it's still it, it coming to to someone and saying, "Can you please review my music?" It 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 comes off as a little desperate and a little, um, you know, it just it, and 
And I, if you want an honest review, yeah. you may not like the results. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I could because so. if I if I don't like the music, I'm not going to lie and say that I like it just because you came to me with uh, 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 you, with your music. You, and it's you brought not it to a reflection my attention. on your character or anything. It's honestly, we're trying to do an objective thing here with yeah. the music. So. Yeah. But at, at the same time, if you come to me with your music and I do like it, I'll. I might, you know, uh, put it out on Twitter or something like that, but I won't do a, a full review video. That I, I, I just, I, I just don't. I, I just don't do that. Um, I, I feel uncomfortable doing that, especially when it's the artist coming to me. Um, but that's just me. I, I don't, uh, I don't know how other people f feel about that. I would feel weird. I would feel even more weird if I were getting paid. Um, it would be, I would feel like I was doing something dishonest. Even if I liked the the music and I was being completely honest about how much I liked it, the fact that I'm getting paid directly, I, directly by the band, by the to band say, to I love it. I would feel... Whether or not you actually do love it or not. Yeah. It, it, yeah. No, I get that. Yeah. Yeah. I do get that. Um, so, yeah, I, I, as a journal, as a journalist... I get, and you know it's hard also to to get your name uh, to make money and to to be successful as a journalist as well. So I can understand why the, these journalists would sign up for this website to get paid to um, review uh, music. I can I can understand both sides, and I can understand uh, why the musicians would do it and the uh, journalists would do it. I just don't think that. Um, it's the right way to go. I don't. I. I it's. It's an integrity thing. I think. Mm. And um, I, I would just feel awkward and weird um, taking money from uh, bands, and I would feel if I were a musician, you kind of I would feel I would, like a fraud. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's, it's kind of the same thing as payola. Um, in a lot of ways. In yeah, a lot it's of ways. Just yeah. A, another approach in the music yeah. business. Um, so anyway, let us know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think this website is a good idea? Do you think it helps out journalists and musicians? Or do you think that uh, it takes away a bit of the integrity from the journalists and the musicians at the same time? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, you can check us out on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, follow John on Twitter at Funky Dutch. Uh, you can check out our website, polyphonicpress.com. And all those links are in the description. And um, that's about it. I'm Jeremy Boyd. I'm John Van Dyke. Take it easy.